Come on over to Dave Town. Come on over and play. Come on over to Dave Town. Come with me today. Come on over to Dave Town if you want to stay. We paint the life and do interesting stuff and have fun in every way. Hello and welcome back to Dave Town. Got some great content lined up for you on this episode. But before we get started, I want to thank all of you who are watching, uh, especially those who have subscribed and rung the bell for notifications of new content. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to be making this paper mache robot here. And we are blessed today to have musical guest Graveyard Shift. Graveyard Shift is going to premiere their newest single, Keeping Love Alive, exclusively right here on Davetown. You at home will be the first in the world to see and hear their new single. So I'm really excited about that, really grateful we could uh, get them scheduled to be on the show. Really grateful to all of the Davetown uh, staff and creative consultants who helped make this episode possible. And let's get to it. All right, well, the first thing we got to do uh, for this robot is we're going to upcycle this old canvas that I did. I uh, This was kind of in my earlier days of, can of uh, acrylic painting, and I was trying to make a a garden with steps and clouds in the sky and I didn't really like it uh, so rather than uh, waste it we're gonna upcycle it into the robot and we're gonna just start by just start by painting it black um, the areas that that will be visible uh, po possibly visible in the final product So we got some black on my palette, and we're just gonna just gonna paint the outlines where the robot's gonna be exposed, or where the canvas is gonna be exposed. What I've done here is I've just glued these boxes down in place and I'm going to try to be careful with this Papa John box because the idea here is to have a little secret compartment you can stash things in to hide or um, maybe little love notes. We're going to put a layer of paper mache. This is my paper mache recipe it's about a cup and a half of flour and and two cups of water and we'll put a layer of paper mache on there and come back well there's the layer of paper mache uh it gets kind of messy but we still got our our door opening here i got a little little box there to kind of prop it up because the way this is drawing oh it just it flattens out and I don't want the box I don't want the box to to dry all distorted and and, and bent uh, and then have to reshape it but it's coming along update you later when we get a little further well now as you can see we got the first layer of paper mache on there 
and it's time to go ahead and take some of these strips of brown paper bag and uh, put one more layer on before we start painting. Whoa! Whoa, what's going on there? That's crazy! What? Now that was pretty cool. That, that was pretty freaking cool. What do you call that thing? Mm, sir, we call it the paper mache cannon. It can also be loaded with paint, but it takes a minute to reload. The paper mache cannon? That's pretty freaking cool. I'm glad uh, I got some really smart people on this show working with me. Uh, you said you can reload it with paint? Um, yes, sir, but like I said, it takes a minute to reload, so... Well, all right, I'm going to give you a chance to get it reloaded, and maybe, uh, maybe we'll get a chance to use it again. That, that's pretty cool and it's a time saver. Um, for those of you at home that don't, for those of you at home that don't have a really cool paper mache cannon, uh, this, this took about an hour and a half of, of layering on the paper mache and it's going to have to dry, it's going to have to dry for about 12 to 18 hours before it can be painted. Okay, well now, the paper mache has dried, we're going to paint.